yeah, it's very upsetting. It's very saddening to see people that look like you get killed over and over again in your city. Protest tonight. An officer guns down a man in his family's South Sacramento backyard. The family of Stephen Clark now mourning. They say the 23 year old never should have been shot. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina James. And I'm Curtis Ming. New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live at SAC PD with both sides of this deadly case. Christina and Curtis, investigators were still out there on scene collecting evidence, trying to figure out what exactly happened. But according to the officers, they feared for their lives, and that's why they opened fire. <laughs> Dozens gathered on the corner of Meadowview, just a block from the shooting last night. This is how this impacts our communities. Many trying to make sense of yet another deadly shooting. I'm mad as hell, but I got to trust in God because I know only God can fix this. Shernita Crosby's nephew was killed by police. Stephen Clark was 23 years old. The latest information that we have is that this subject was breaking into multiple vehicles. Police were called to 29th Street just before 9 p.m. Sunday night. With help from the Sheriff's Department helicopter, they located Clark in a backyard trying to enter a house. That's when the officers say they gave the suspect commands to stop and show his hands. But instead, police say the suspect came at them. They believe that he uh, pointed a firearm at them. After the shooting, detectives learned that the home was where Clark was living and that he was carrying a tool, not a gun. She killed him in his auntie, I mean his grandma and grandpa where he stay, house. And you shot him four times. His family is having a hard time believing Clark would go after officers. That's why investigators say body cam video and the helicopter camera above will help shed some light on this case. It allows our community to see what happened. Meanwhile, here in South Sacramento, Black Lives Matter protesters and family will continue to fight and stand up for Stefan. You know, now I'm starting to think maybe that black lives don't matter. And of the officers involved in this incident, they have two and four years experience with SAC PD and also have prior experience with other agencies. As for that video, they'll have to release it within the next 30 days. All right, Jennifer McGraw, thank you.